Not many grandparents do comedy, but this one does go crazy for grandma. <laughs> Everybody, oh, uh, oh, excuse me. Oh, here we go. How, how are you, sweethearts? Are you very good? Yeah. I can hear you. Yeah. No, I really can't hear you because I'm quite deaf. But that's. But you look like you're having fun, don't you? Look, you're having fun. What's your name? Who? What is it? What? Who? What? What? What is it? Pancake. <laughs> All right, that's nice to meet you, Pancake. That's very nice. Good to see you. You're look at you applauding. What's your name? Who? What is it? What is it? <laughs> Pepperoni. <laughs> Weird, these Melbourne hipster parents must be naming their kids weird names. What's your name? Margaret. Who? Margaret. What? Margaret. Swamp donkey. <laughs> well, it's lovely to meet you, all of you. All of you. Oh, my good. I'm so excited to be here with you at the Olympic Games. <laughs> <laughs> what? 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 It's not the Olympic Games. It's not the Olympic Games. <laughs> Well, it's stand and deliver. Oh my, oh, so it is, oh my goodness. Well, thank you all so much for having me. I'm in the wrong place. <laughs> I've got to go and do me javelin, me high jump. Oh, you know, I don't really, boys and girls, my day's past. But do you know what? We need to see in this old beautiful tent here if there's some magic. Do you think there might be some magic? Yeah. Yes, I think who said no? You, you know what Taylor Swift says about haters? She says, haters gonna poo their pants on the way home because karma will get you. So just don't, don't be a hate. Just let's see, because I've got it something here just to, oh, excuse me, to, to see if there's any magic in this tent. Now, who likes colouring in? Sorry. Yes, I do, absolutely. So boys and girls, I've been doing some colouring in. Can you tell me if it's any good? You, yeah, here we go. What do you think? <laughs> well, it's boot. There's nothing in there, Rich. Um, uh, did you steal them? Was it you, Swamp Donkey? Did you steal them? <laughs> Boys and girls, what I need you to do is hold up your magic finger. Everybody's got a magic finger. If you don't know which one, it's the one you pick your nose with. That's definitely the one you pick. In. You've got a booger on there. Still lingering. <laughs> That's all right. That, all right, hold that up. And can you draw some pictures in the air with your finger? That's, oh, that's fantastic. Now, can you throw them at the book and say the magic? Whoa, whoa, all right, hang on. Heavens above. What's a magic word? Does anyone know a magic word? Abracadabra is a very good one. One, two, three, and we'll throw the drawings and say the magic word, yeah? All right, one, two, three. <laughs> oh, my. Oh, heavens above, that was very good. All right, let's see if the magic's worked. Oh, boys and girls, give yourselves a round of applause. <laughs> Fantastic. But there, there does seem to be something missing from the... Yeah, what is it? You have to hold that well, I, well, no, no, there is no colours. That's true, that is missing, isn't it? Boys and girls, do you... Do you know what you have in a magical land? You've got magical creatures. Who knows of a magical creature? Yeah. A sphinx. A sphinx is a very good creature, yes. You, you, he? Eh? Yes, sweetheart, yeah? Unicorn. A unicorn. Oh, but do you know what comes out of a unicorn's bum? Rainbows. Rainbows is exactly correct. Boys and girls, what I need you to do is channel your inner unicorn. Can you do that for me? And I need you to fire some of your rainbows right up here. Now, you can turn around and aim at the book or you can make the sound with your armpit or your hat. You can try for the real thing, but don't squeeze too hard. We don't want to follow through it today, all right? Here we go. Are you ready? Three, two, one, fire! Ah! Ah, it's disgusting and beautiful at the same time. Oh, ma'am. All right. And now the magic word. Let's have a look. Oh, boys and girls, 
Look at what you can do with your bum. Give yourselves a round of applause. Ah, oh, fantastic. Now, is this, this is stand and deliver at the Melbourne International Comedy Festival. Is that right? Yeah. Oh, me and my. So it's been a dream of mine forever. Yeah, honestly, to come here and, and, and tell a story to people. Yeah. That's, and I was going to talk to you about dreams today. Do you, do you lot have dreams? Yeah. Yes? I'm not talking about the dreams where you, you go to sleep and then you think that you go into the toilet and you wake up and the bed's a bit damp there. That's it. That's it. We've all had those dreams. Don't worry about it. It's all right. You grow out of it. Then you grow back into it again, actually. But, um, you know, it's, that, what are your hopes for the future? What? Yes, sweetheart. Then she can play for Australia in basketball. That sounds fantastic. Oh, and what about you? Being a phoenix keeper. Being a phoenix keeper. Heavens above. These are big dreams. What about you? Being the biggest comedy guy in the world. Being the biggest comedy guy in the world? Why don't you come up here and make your debut? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, let's give him a round of applause. Oh, this is so exciting. What's, what's your name? Oscar. Oh, I'll get you here. What, what is it? Oscar. What? Oscar. Hey? Oscar. What is it? Oscar. What? Oscar. What? Oscar. Who? Oscar. Who? Oscar. Who? Oscar. The Little Mermaid. Oscar. Oscar, see, you got something on your face here, buddy. Hang on. Here you go. That, I'll, get, I'll just get that. Uh, go on. I'll get... All right, suit yourself. You're making a debut. You want to look... Why don't you come over here, mate? You old dad, do you have a joke you want to start us off with? Yes. Go on. What do you call... What do you call a noodle that isn't supposed to be there? What do you call a noodle that isn't supposed to be there? An impasta. <laughs> Let's hear it for the next generation of comedian. Thank you so much, The Little Mermaid. <laughs> What's brown and sticky? A brown stick. Yay! What do you call a three-humped camel? Pregnant. <laughs> you see, this man walked into the bar, you see, and he asked for a bottle of H2O. This other man said, can I please have a bottle of H2O too? After he drank it, he died. Because H2O2 is hydrogen peroxide. <laughs> Funny joke. Boys and girls, in fact, I've... I've got this uh, this story that I wanted read. Now, who's a very, very good reader out there? Who is the absolute best re Oh, yeah, come on, so you come up. Good on you. Give her a round of applause. <laughs> now, I've got this story here that I wrote that I was a bit of a dream come true to have it read here tonight because this is my dream. And I'm going to act it out as you do it. You read a line and I'll act it out. I'll... My dreams will come to life here on the stage, boys and girls. Are you ready? Ah, yeah. oh, fantastic. All right, I'll get you a microphone, sweetheart. What's your name? Donna. Who? Donna. What? Donna. Who? Donna. Who? Donna. Donut. Yes. It was close, wasn't it? All right, here we go, sweetheart. Hit us with your story. Once upon a time, there was a beautiful woman and she met a lovely man. Oh, ah. Uh. <laughs> Hello, sweetheart. How are you? I'm very well. How are you? I'm all right. I'm all right. What's your name? David. David. Nice to meet you. All right. <laughs> he liked her because she was smart, and she liked him because he was a hunker, hunker, hunker burning love. Yeah. Oh, yeah. David. <laughs> His favourite thing about her was when she bent down to pick things up. Her favourite thing was about him. Oh, hang on, hang on, sweetheart, hang on. Oh, the horses, that's very good. So, uh, but your favourite thing about me is when I bend a... All right, here we go. Ah, oh, David! <laughs> You're a disgrace. Very good comedy, though. Come on. Her favourite thing was about, about him was when he danced like a sick walrus. Oh, I love it when you dance like <laughs> Go on, a sick walrus. Oh, yeah. I love it. Go on, there he goes. Yeah. Ah, oh, I love it when he does the floor bit. Ah, oh, fantastic. 
Ah, he's still not made a cat. But like everybody, they had imperfections too. Everybody does, don't they? Yeah, yeah. She was almost too beautiful. Well, it's hard, isn't it? And he had a problem with the bottle. Oh, no. Oh, uh, there you, there's your bottle. There's your bottle. You be, have a big drink. Have a big drink. Ah, oh, for goodness sake. Can't even... Uh, go on. He couldn't drink from a Pockley and he was a big baby. Once, one day, a big baby prince went on a big horse ride. Oh! It looked it, uh, oh, excuse me, you'd enjoy that. There, there's yours. Yeah. Go on. That's good. Well, that's... No, nah, well, that's beautiful, but that's just a clippity-clop around the stage. She said, a big horse ride. Right, uh, right around there. There you go. Good. Oh, let's give him a round of applause. Oh, David, there he goes. There... There goes my hero. It is a big horse ride, isn't it? It's quite a big horse ride, yeah. Oh, David. There he goes. All right, sweetheart. Hit us with the next line, Donut. He found a beautiful castle and it was his dream to live in. Oh. But property prices at the time meant he had to downsize his dreams. Realistic, isn't it? Yeah. He found a tent. Oh. <laughs> Look, I've seen the way you ride a horse. I'm not sure that we've got enough time for you to put this up and deconstruct it. As, look, go, go on, give it a shot then. All right. He's found a tent that we're going to live in forever. <laughs> David! I'm not sure how it's going to work. The two... <laughs> All right, well, um, go on then, sweetheart. Even though he was happy with his life, he felt sad that his dream of living in a castle hadn't come through. Ah, oh, the sad face. Ah. Oh. So she went and followed her dreams and did a show at Stand and Deliver and got lots of money and then both their dreams came true because her mummy, money helped them buy a castle of their dreams. Oh, it's perfect. Go on, dreams come true. David, if you just want to put that back in the bag, that'd be great. Go on, there you go. Good on you, mate. That's... What? He's got superpowers, boys and girls. Give him a round of applause. And how did we celebrate? They couldn't stop the feeling in their, inside their bones. It went electric wavy when they turned it on. I've got that. And we dance like sick walruses. Get him. Go on, sweetheart. Here he goes. Here he goes. Oh, oh. Oh, oh. Very good. Thank you so much, Donut. That was fantastic. Well done. Ah, oh, David. You. Oh, oh, smooch it. Thank you so much, boys and girls. I'm going to have a wonderful day. Give a big round of applause.